So perpendicular lines, does anybody care to share what they are? Or what they look like? I think we mentioned it way back when we were originally talking about lines and points, lines and planes, but I don't think we made anything official. Anybody remember perpendicular lines? They do intersect each other. How? Uh, cross. Isn't it like X? Like right in the middle? So the thing that has to happen for lines to be perpendicular is that they have to intersect at perfect 90 degree angles. That's what we need. So it has to look per, it's got to be spot on, 90 degree angles all the way around. So it can't just be any two lines that intersect. It's got to be intersect at 90 degree angles, okay? So lines, let's go ahead and define them. Lines which intersect at 90 degree angles. Okay, so this is like um, the X and Y axis of the coordinate plane. They're always perpendicular to each other that corner right there is always a perfect 90 degree angle if you're looking at a coordinate plane right so again it's got to be marked though so if it's not marked if these are just two random lines i don't know that they're perpendicular until i come in and i do that all right or something has to tell me that the lines are perpendicular just like always so i'm actually going to put a big star here you can never assume two lines are perpendicular. Oh, and do you know that there's a symbol for the word perpendicular? Because that's an awfully big word. And I don't like writing big words all the time if I can avoid it. Does anybody know the symbol for perpendicular? I can't remember if we've talked about it yet or not. No, maybe we haven't. It's basically a capital T that's upside down. So it looks like this. That's your symbol for perpendicular. So now you don't have to write that word anymore. You can just do that upside down T so much easier. So you can never assume two lines are perpendicular. What do you have to have? Um, so to show two lines are perpendicular, here are basically your options. You can put the little box in the diagram like I did here. So one option is uh, put little box in the diagram. That's one way. Okay. Or, oh, my camera froze again. For goodness sakes. All right, sorry. Okay, so you can put a little box in the diagram like we did above, or they can say it in words. All right, so let me show you what that might look like. You might have two lines and they might look perpendicular, but you don't know that they are until, let's say this is line L and this is line M. So in the directions, they may state line L is perpendicular to line M. So you might see something like that in the directions. 
Um, another shortcut that is sometimes taken, instead of like writing it all out like that, they might just put over in the corner something like this. That notation right there, M with that upside down T and then L, this notation means line, line M is perpendicular to line L. So that's another way um, that you might see it kind of done out in the diagram. Honestly, the easiest way is to just put the little box in there, right? That's so simple. But sometimes it depends on the diagram. There might be too much other stuff in the way. So sometimes it just doesn't work out to put that little box, but I mean, that's always my first choice because that's so easy. But my point is, if you don't have one of these things, if they don't tell you somewhere or they don't mark it in the diagram. So if you just had this diagram without any of these words, you don't know that L and M are perpendicular to each other. You have no idea. You can't say that until I give you something like this. Now you're like, oh, okay, the two are perpendicular. So now I know that those, all four of those angles are 90 degrees. Or I could have set it up in the directions. Um, but some you can't just go around saying that two lines are perpendicular without something to back it up. Okay, be careful. Be careful. By the way, a lot of times we think that um, perpendicular lines have to look like this plus sign. One's going up and down, one's going side to side. That doesn't have to be the case at all. They could certainly be on a slant as long as these angles are 90s. So these are still perpendicular lines, these two here. All right, even if the lines are tilted, doesn't have to be perfectly up and down and side to side. Okay, how are we feeling so far? Because believe it or not, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna take a peek over here at your homework and I'm gonna, the, most of the questions that I ask you are true false style questions. So there is no work to submit today. Um, so let me grab the homework. Oh, that's not the right way to do that. I just want to make sure that I didn't forget to talk about anything, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Let me see. So unfortunately, when you come in, hold on, let me share this. Here we are. Okay, so you'll notice when you come into tonight's homework, it's that style where it's, um, and they all say question, so you don't get to answer these a million times. You only get the two chances at each one. So just be mindful of that. So these are all ones that I had to create. So let's let's just do the first one together. What the hey? Let's see what it is. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I use the same diagram for a bunch of questions, okay? So you'll notice up here at the top, look at what they're telling me. Let me get my stylus real quick so I could draw on this thing. Oh, here it is. Okay, check this out. Um, they're telling me right here that AG is perpendicular to CE. So if I take a look, where's AG? All right, AG is this line right here. And then CE is this line right here. So they're telling me in words that those two are perpendicular. So it might be helpful to go ahead and mark those on the diagram, even though they didn't mark it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, now that I know that AG and CE are perpendicular, I'm just going to mark that with a 90 degree angle because I know that to be true. I didn't just come in and say, oh, that looks like a 90 degree angle. They told me up here in the directions. All right, so let's do the same thing with the next one. Um, AC, so that's this, 
is perpendicular to BF. That is, oh, by the way, this F right here is supposed to be on the line. That's just a little typo. It is supposed to be there. So my apologies that it's a little off. Okay, so BF is right here. But lucky for me, look, they've already marked it in the diagram. They already have them marked with 90 degree angle. So I don't have to do anything there. Um, and then it also tells me that point B is the midpoint of AC. Determine whether the following is true or false. Okay, great. So let's take a look at uh, what they're asking me right here. Is angle one congruent to angle CBD? Let's see, here's angle one. Angle CBD, well, that's this one here. Is that true or is that false? Would those two angles that I just marked, are those actually equal to each other? Someone tell me. Yes. I think I heard a yes. Yes, they are, they're vertical angles. Not only are they vertical, I can actually tell what their degree is. They're both 90s, aren't they? Because those lines are perpendicular. So yeah, this one's absolutely true. All right, let's, oh, let me let Evan back in. Okay, so that one's true. I accidentally kicked the power cord. Oh, that's fine. Let's try the next one here. So you'll see it's the same diagram and it's the same directions up top. So I still know this angle that I knew was 90 before, it's still 90. So you don't have to like reread everything. It's the same diagram. Uh, all right, what am I trying to find this time? Angle one is a right angle. I think we just talked about that. So I think you probably know the answer to that one. I'm going to jump ahead. Looks like I moved it over a little bit. So that one's still a 90. All right, let's see what they're asking me. Angle one is congruent to angle two. Oh, interesting. So remember, these are all true falses. Angle one, they're asking me if I know for a fact that it's equal to angle two. So I wonder if you would have some way to know for sure that those two angles are equal to each other. I don't know about this one, but I'll leave that up to you. Okay, and then I think, let me just uh, pick this random one down here. Um, oh yeah, and then at the very end, uh, they're not true false questions anymore, but uh, since I was using the same image, it's going to say in the picture, determine whether the following is true or false. It's not a true false. You're just going to answer the question right here. So if angle three is 120, I want you to find the measure of angle two. That's totally doable. If three is 120, you got to find two. Here's my hint. Ta -da! So this should be relatively quick all right i'm going to um what i'm gonna do is let's see it's 1003 and this class ends at 1025 i'm going to give you until 10 uh let's do 10 15 yeah this this whole assignment should take you like five minutes maybe so let me give you until 10.15. And then at 10.15, I want to do sort of a quick little review activity to sort of close out the day. All right. So everybody hop on over to Delta right now. Let me go ahead and stop this recording.